What are you doing? I'm trying to work out how much fat is in my arm. <laughs> Zan, you do know there's a much easier way of working out your body fat. Really? Yes. It's time for Investigation Ouch. This is my fat. You need fat to keep your body working. It keeps you warm, and whether you're kicking a football or jumping into a swimming pool, it's fat that stores the energy to help you do it. But if fat's so amazing, how come we're always being told we've got too much of it? There are tests going on here at Warwick University that might answer that question. With the help of Dr. Philip McTurnan, this cool bit of kit is going to measure how much fat I have on my body. OK, so what do I do? Just get in it? No. There's one thing that you need to do first. You need to make sure that we have something that uh, is much tighter than this. Well, luckily, I'm wearing my Operation Ouch leotard. You might be wondering why I've agreed to wear this, but the pod needs to take very precise measurements, so baggy clothing and loose hair are no good. This device works by measuring the amount of room my body takes up in this enclosed space. It feels very claustrophobic. Luckily, I've got a nice big window so I can see. And a few fancy computer calculations later, we have my stats. Go. Percentage fat, 13.8%. That's very good. It means, you know, you're fit, healthy, and you've got the right, right amount of fat, that's for sure. So if I'm 13.8% body fat, how much fat is there on me? And to give you an idea, this is standard cooking oil, mm -hmm. but if you had 12 bottles of this, this would equate to how much fat you have in your body. This is a really nice illustration of how amazing fat is as an energy store. I have 12 bottles of fat like this in my body, and that's enough energy for me to run 30 marathons. And it also explains why fat is so hard to get rid of, because you've got to do a huge amount of work to get rid of a relatively small amount of fat. So more exercise will get rid of it, but to understand why too much fat can be bad, we need to get a closer look. I'm about to have a fat biopsy, and that's when some fat is taken out of my tummy using a huge needle. Now, obviously, Zand and I aren't afraid of big needles, but if you're squeamish, you need to turn off the television, leave the room, and go and hide under your bed. Done that? Good. Dr. Milan, show us the needle. I told you it was big. Zand, where's Zand? Zand said he'd do this. Too late. I've had a local anaesthetic, so I can't feel anything. And the doctor's cut a little hole in my tummy so that he can get that huge needle in and some of my fat out. Oh, wow, yeah. So this yellow stuff floating on the top here, this is the fat from my tummy. And the average person has 50 billion fat cells, more fat cells than there are people on the planet. Now, it may look like we've used a huge needle and not got very much fat, but we don't need that much because we're going to have a look at some fat up close under the microscope. So let's see what the cells actually look like. These are my fat cells, and these belong to a person who has a higher fat content in their body. Why are their cells looking different to mine? We can see from here you have a lot smaller fat cells. Now, someone who has more weight, they have bigger fat cells. So a person with more fat doesn't necessarily have more cells, they've just got more fat in each cell. Yes, so eventually the fat spills over and then what happens is you can get fat in your liver, you can get it in your heart, which affects how they function and how your body functions as a whole. So although body fat is vital to life because it's where the energy from the food we eat is stored, it's really important we have the right amount of it. Too much of it can put you at risk of conditions like heart disease and cancer. So I, for one, am going to keep up with my exercise. I must get Zand one of these leotards. No chance. 